Hey everyone, Laser Dave here again from Trotec Laser. Today I want to take you on a deep dive into our new vision, design, and position camera system from calibration to operation. Vision design and position shortens the laser workflow, allowing for a perfect result more quickly. The powerful camera integrated into the laser lid delivers a detailed, sharp, live color image of the entire work surface to the Ruby software, allowing an operator to design or edit graphics to an existing laser job directly onto the workpiece and allowing for residual materials to be better utilized. First time operation of the Vision Design and Position, or VDP, requires a one-time calibration map be laser processed for camera calibration. The calibration design file, material parameter, and plastic sheet will be provided on systems configured with the VDP camera. To create the calibration mat, load provided parameter file into Ruby by selecting the drop-down menu. Materials, select the three dots, import the file, and then select the material parameter file. This will add the settings file into Ruby to create the calibration mat. Now go to the Manage screen Select Import and the Calibration Design file, then open the file and create a job. Now select the new material setting called Calibration Mat from the materials list, making sure to select the lens used in the laser system, and then push that file to the laser. Remove the protective film from the provided blank calibration mat and place it into the laser, aligning it perfectly with the X and Y axis rulers. Focus the laser on the surface of the calibration mat, then select Start and engrave the file. This engraving will take 20 to 35 minutes depending on the laser wattage and machine size. Once finished, Wipe down the calibration mat and it is now ready for all future camera calibrations for this laser system. Now it's time to calibrate the camera using the calibration mat. This calibration procedure requires Ruby version 2.2 or later and an active vision design and position system. Turn on the laser and let it reference and connect with Ruby. Then go into the Ruby menu. Click on Settings, select the lens being used, and select Save. Then click Run Calibration Wizard. Open the top lid on the laser and place in the calibration mat, ensuring that the exhaust is on to provide vacuum to keep the mat perfectly flat. Make sure to align the mat perfectly with the X and Y axis rulers with the zero position marker. Move the focus head and focus on the material using the autofocus or manual focus tool for the designated lens. Move the laser head back to the origin position and close the top lid. In Ruby, ensure the closed lid is selected and then click Calibrate. The calibration process takes approximately two minutes. Once the closed position is complete, open the top lid and ensure that calibration open lid is selected and then click calibrate to calibrate the camera in the open position. Once done, click finish. If additional lenses are used, change the lens and repeat the process for other lenses. Then select save and the calibration process is complete. Now that the system is calibrated, it's time for camera operation. Load the product into the laser machine and focus the laser head to the product. Open Ruby and import the design file. Select the file, create a job, and turn on the table camera. Position the design to the product using the live view of the camera, zooming in as necessary for accuracy. Select the material setting and send the file to laser processing. Then laser process the file. 
The Trotec Vision Design and Position allows for maximum precision in real time. This feature accelerates the workflow and provides laser processing exactly where you want it. From first-time laser machine users to seasoned laser pros, the Vision Design and Position will produce perfect results faster and simpler for increased profitability. In this example, I will demonstrate using the Vision Design and Position to align to an existing laser cut job live in Ruby using residual materials directly to the workpiece with size, rotation, and position. First, load the residual material into the laser machine. The VDP and Ruby will show a live calibrated view of the material with the laser top lit up or down. Then focus the laser, create or import the design file into Ruby, select the file, create a job, position the design to the product by moving, sizing, and rotating to fit the residual material, Select the material setting and send the file to the laser for processing. Then laser process the file. The powerful camera in the lid provides up to 12 megapixels of resolution for a detailed, sharp, live color image of the entire work surface in Ruby. Regardless of whether the lid is open or closed, view the laser job on the workpiece in advance. What you see is what you get. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.